second. All right. What's going on, world? It's your favorite entrepreneur, Michael with Wealth Connect Hall, CEO of Wealth Connect Inc. And guys, I just wanted to shoot this quick video because, you know, a real close friend of mine, somebody that's like family to me, you know, I was just having a conversation with them earlier today because they asked me, you know, things looking kind of rough right now, is it possible? I could lend them a quick $200 into a private. Now, knowing, you know, that's a good friend of mine to look at them as a family, so I was like, of course, yeah, I'll lend you the money. But I was like, you know, I got a close question to ask you. He was like, you know, what it is it? So I remember he was telling me how he just got this construction job about a month ago. Mm -hmm. You know, making 18, 20 bucks an hour depending on the job. And, you know, at the, he get paid weekly and at the end of the, before the end of the week, he's already broke. Now, I remember he told me that he don't really have that much business. You know, he don't really have to pay too much in rent. You know, he don't have no outstanding debt, you know. So I was wondering, like, man, bro, you know what? You live in paycheck to paycheck. You know, if you don't mind me asking. And then, you know, he told me, you know, yeah, sometimes you go out and you go club and spend 60 $80 here, $20 there, this and that. I had to let him know, like, look, bro, to be completely honest. $20 here, $40 here, $80 here, $100 here, whatever, it adds up. You know, the money really adds up because, you know, us Americans, I'm going to say us Americans because we all do it. We all have a tendency of spending before we had a chance to really think about it or even possibly save money. And, I mean, let's just go at it statistically. You know, 57% of Americans will check the check. You know, only 76% of people will have less than $500 in their bank account. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can strongly agree, you know, through the math that, you know, a lot of us can make a lot of money depends on how much money we make. It really depends on how much money we save in. And let's just be honest, us as Americans, we suck at it. Including myself sometimes. So it, it just, we really have to develop this habit of, you know, thinking about saving this money before we spend it. Because a lot of times we will spend our money on something that's so unnecessary. You know, buying food out, 10, 12 hours on some food, knowing that we got some dinner at the house that we can go cook, that would have saved us that 10, 12 dollars that could have went towards some savings for something that we really wanted to spend our money on. Now, I'm going to touch on the fellas first. Yeah, I'm going to touch on the fellas. I'm going to touch on the fellas, touch on the fellas first, you know. We all know how it is when those new joints going to come out. The new release date for those sevens or, you know, those retro 11s going to come out. You know, they're looking all good. You know, we want to get them to be able to go to the club and stunt. But you got, if you make it three, let's just say you make $300, $350 a week. Does it make sense to spend it $180 to $200 on some shoes where if you just get one bad scruff on them, one bad scuff, scruff, whatever, they value this. We don't think about that, man, do we? But we'll go buy the $180 to $200 shoes and then turn around our alternator on our car and go out, and that's another $200, $300 going to be fixed on that alternator. How are you going to get it fixed if you spent your money? You're so into getting something that you want that you may not even think about what if you might need something. And those, and those women, let's get on the women. You know, the women in Brazilian ringy hair, you don't want to spend two, three hundred dollars on that hairstyle. Now let's just have to, let's just say that you know you spent two, three hundred dollars on that hairstyle and you just found out three days later you got laid off on your job and went through the next week. What are you mm -hmm. gonna do? That's your two, three hundred dollars that you could have used could have went towards your rent. You know, it could have went towards any other emergency, but you picked to choose on something that you wanted so bad that you made you think about the things that you might possibly need. Well, I'm going to be the um, barrier of bad news. Look, you need a savings because you're spending your money terribly. But I'm, I can't even knock everybody because I did the same thing. And if we just really think about it, it's not like we was taught to save in high school. I don't even remember a class that taught me, you know, about good credit. You know, taught me about, you know, how to make a budget plan, saving this and that in the public school system. Maybe some of y'all guys maybe, you know, one of those classes in the private school. Mm -hmm. But most public schools don't even teach that information. Right. So a lot of that is you have to learn from your own, you have to learn from your own, you know, by research or, you know, what's passed down to your family through generations. Because how the economy is getting, people are losing jobs left and right. Definitely. Believe it or not, since the last, since the last eight years, the unemployment rate actually went up. So the world is getting worse. And, you know, they're not going to teach you finances or how to save money, this and that. Because let's be honest, if everybody knew how to save money and manage their money properly, wouldn't it be more millionaires? Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm talking about? So more millionaires and more rich people yeah, in this world. Really What's going to go happen is going to offset the economy. That's something to really think about. But I just hope this video could touch the masses of you know the importance of saving your money because guys, I'm telling you, you have to get in the habit of saving your money before you spend it because it's going to be one day where you're going to need a significant amount of money and if you didn't save up, it's over. But guys, you know, I'm not going to keep you too long, but I just wanted to make sure I was strong with the information I'm dropping. So definitely go out there and research, you know, financial ways on how to save your money. And, you know, and invest your money wisely instead of just putting your money in other people's hands that you didn't have to be good This is Coach today dropping a couple of jewels on you. I'm going to finish up this event that we have down here. And just reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram or Yahoo YouTube if you want to get more information. I'm out.